All right. Hello. Back at it again. Yeah, I started this last night. It was really fun. All right, we got to farm more potions again today. Ah, I don't know about that. A bit of a slow player, if anything. Oh, pick up the echoes. There we go. Feels like I'm not doing any damage. You died. I think I'm getting the hang of it, though. Go, go, go. Hey, thanks for the host, Bonesaw. Happy Thursday to you all. I realized I made a big mistake. I forgot to submit my timesheet at work. So I have to go into work on my birthday to submit my timesheet. And that sucks. I was just hoping to not have to think about work this week, but I guess I want to get paid. Yeah, thanks for the birthday wishes. Honestly, uh, really cool to see so many messages on Twitter and things like that today. Pretty cool. I think I'm just going to keep trying this boss because expect good things to happen. Wish I could farm potions a little faster, but that's okay. Oh, I 
Gonna have to bounce back. I think it might be quicker to do the shorter attack on this guy. I guess it's some good damage. He's pissed. Oh. Oh, now I got it. Too aggressive. Too aggressive. Stop swinging. going. Big damage. Oh. This is the best I've ever done. I'm gonna choke. Ooh, that could have, like, instant killed me. I can't see what I'm doing. Camera wins again. Oh, frick. A lot of potions. This is devastating. No. Collapse. Collapse. Epic collapse. Can I not see what it's doing anymore? Oh, frick. Dang, I didn't have any way to heal. That camera sucks on that hallway. Every now and then it just snaps and you lose what you're seeing. That was the best I've ever done on that fight though. I don't know how I did so much damage. I guess this mode of attack might be a little bit quicker. So I was able to sneak in some more damage. I do like this weapon. Now I gotta farm more potions though. This guy only ever drops bullets. Cakewalk if you're in a big arena? Yeah, I suppose. That's part of the point is that it's kind of congested, right? One potion. Who needs healing? Just win.
weapon at risk. I can't afford my weapon to be at risk. I don't have another weapon. It was really nice that uh, so many people raided my stream last night. That was really nice. Uh, I'm a little concerned about that last message I just saw, which was that my weapon is going to break. At the workshop, these bloodstones are embedded in weapons to fortify them. I mean, if my weapon breaks, then I sort of... The free trial's over, right? It's like it's time to return the video game. That would be really stupid. I don't know where the workshop is, though. Can't be the only player who's like been stuck on this part and been at risk with their weapon, so that must mean there's something nearby. Maybe it's in Hunter's Dream, I just haven't found it yet. Or maybe I can buy another weapon in Hunter's Dream or something. No potions. This sucks. Fourth attack. That sucks. The other night, I figured out something about using the bullets. Like, I, I could interrupt his attack, but I feel like he doesn't care. He'll attack me anyway. This game doesn't do as nearly a good a job of introducing what it expects as far as combat. Yeah, it was really overwhelming. The intro, it was like, here's all the controls all at once. There's no way you're going to memorize them. So I'm sure I missed some stuff. 
wonder if I go back here. If maybe the workshop is back here. I'm not doing like any damage at all now. That gateway is closed. Never really explored this, did I? Return to the Hunter's Dream. You are safe, but I'm afraid nothing will change my mind. Please, try to understand my position. I pray... Stop! Oh. Please, stop! It's beasts you hunt. Why are you behaving like one? This can't be the real you. Please, stop. Hmm. Are you calm again? You mustn't let the hunt overcome you. Remember yourself. You are not a beast. You are safe, but please, I pray. Hmm. Stop. Oh. Please, stop. It's beasts you hunt. Why are you behaving like one? This can't be the real you. Please, stop. You are no more than a beast. I should have known. Ah, oh, she won't talk to me anymore. Well, rip that storyline. She wasn't going to give me anything anyway. Welcome home. What is it? They find speak well. Farewell. Where is the repair shop? <laughs> I could sell items for souls, I guess. Honestly, it might not be a bad idea to get a little more HP. I don't think it's a huge difference maker, but. Can't buy anything with this stuff. It's over here. I don't think I've ever been over here. The stump appears linked to the nightmare, but there are no messengers. So what you're telling me is it's pointless. Everything's pointless. The workshop tool required for this task is missing. Memory altar. Okay. Workshop. There it is. Okay. Thank goodness. Pair items with reduced durability. 333 souls required. Fortify weapons using bloodstones. Oh, okay. This is how we actually make things good. Okay. Uh, This would have been nice to find forever ago. I've run around this room a billion times and never used it for anything. Okay, so we should repair my weapon at least and then maybe try to upgrade it if I have enough souls. Uh... Okay, 
let's try. I'm never going to stop calling them souls, by the way. Just force of habit. It's repaired. So I need 240 to upgrade this thing. Thank God I found it. I know, right? I knew it had to be somewhere. This seems like the central hub, like all the key stuff is going to be here. <laughs> Can I sell for souls? I could sell one of these to use three of them. Ooh, torch. I could sell a torch for 500. I could sell all the clothes I'm not going to wear, right? These are all like starting game clothes. Who's ever going to wear these? Not me. All about selling the starting game stuff. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Am I right? Okay, how much did I need? Was it like 240? So that's not enough. Let's just sell this one. That was not enough either. How did 165 plus 300 equal 365? Did I... What? I think I looked at that wrong. It might still be okay. Okay, we're good. I... Some... Something just did not click with me right there. Now I need five more of them to level it up again. So that's not going to happen. But we got the stronger weapon now. All right. Buy a potion while I'm here. That would cost 180. 180? Forget it. I don't need one. All right, stronger weapon, easy game. Selling is so much better than Dark Souls. I think this game so far seems very fluid. I don't know. I like it. I think they sort of streamlined some of the stuff from Souls where you're sitting there analyzing a lot of stuff. Maybe it's just because it's early game. But so far, it's been like very clear to me what things I want to buy and when I want to get them and... All that good jazz. Alright, so let's see what the stronger weapon does for us here. One. That's a lot of damage. I don't have any way to heal. Oh, I thought he was staggered. I was wrong. See, I would think when he's winding up to attack like that, if you use the gun, it would stagger him, but it doesn't. We'll figure it out. Non-replenishing health stuff. Yeah, so far, I'm not liking that very much. I like the idea that you can have 20 of them, but and for a while, at the start of the game, it seemed like they were dropping pretty frequently, but now I can't get them to drop.
think these enemies down here drop more of them, so maybe I should just fight them. Great. Got them both over here now. game so strong. Yeah, I don't feel like this early game is uh, one of the more inviting ones anyway. It's pretty tough. I think Souls 1 early game was fairly forgiving. I don't remember Souls 2's early game at all because I tried to block out all Souls 2 memories. Souls 3 was Pretty good too. Oh, he gave me two. I don't even know why I attacked this guy. He never gives uh, anything other than bullets. Yeah, Dark Souls 1, honestly, I was talking to, I think it was Ethan last night about the Souls games because he was asking what I was streaming. And he's never played one. And my suggestion to him was to play Souls 1 first just because I feel like that game does a really good job of teaching the player. And it's, it's a good indicator too. Like if you like Souls 1, then you're pretty much free to just play whatever you want to play in the series. I think it's just a really good spot to start. Plus, you can get Souls 1 for like six bucks now with all the DLC. I don't think I ever went this way. I sort of like wandered over here and then this lady complained. She wants a safe place. I went down here, and then I think I stopped going this way for some reason. Or did I venture on? I can't remember if I went this way or not. Well, that guy wrecked me. Wow, that was insane. They removed Souls 1 from Steam? Really? That's kind of messed up. I knew remasters were a mistake. That's really messed up. They removed the, like, cheap version of Souls to get you to buy the remaster. Okay, I guess we're just farming potions now. Same stuff as yesterday. to win. Never fought the big boy over here yet. Thank you for the happy birthdays. Yeah, DS Fix was basically what Remaster was, right? Operate device. 
The device doesn't operate. Looks like I already lowered the ladder. I would fight this dude, but he's just going to kill me in one hit. really long cooldowns after he attacks. Maybe I will win this. Yes! Got the big boy. That was it? I just get three blood vials for that? There must be more. He didn't drop some legendary armor or something? Unbelievable. That felt like an accomplishment. DS fix was bu buggy at some parts. I never used DS fix when I played. I played on like the crummy old back in, back in my day when we played Dark Souls. It was thirty frames per sec per second uphill both ways. The feeling of accomplishment is the reward. You know what? I would agree with you. Sometimes a man needs cash money. Are you that outsider? I want more people to react when I attack their doors. almost just farm a level here. I don't know what else to do. Oh, die to this guy. I always forget that he's there. Don't give up the ship. Away, away. away! He knocked me into the middle of next week. I am having such a hard time with this video game. I think the key for me at this point is to just get to... 20 potions and then wreck this boss or like double digit potions should probably be enough nobody's dropping potions though really annoying oh I could just buy them with the souls too I guess that's a thing. Just 
farm potions, go back. Farm potions, go back. guy's just bashing my skull in. It's making it really hard to grind anything. Cold blood flower bud. Alright, let's bust out the, the full weapon here. I really haven't figured out the difference. That just seems like slower and does slightly more damage. Nothing's dropping anything anymore. Attacking that thing. No. You don't get to attack three times in a row like that. Unbelievable. So, basically, in retrospect, we should have played Metroid Prime 2 this weekend, because I might have actually made progress in that game. I don't think we're going to get anywhere in this game. Until this enemy starts dropping more potions. That guy drops bullets for me every time, but none of these enemies drop potions anymore. Finally. I need more. See, now what's going to happen is I'm going to get all the potions, I'm going to go fight the boss, and I'm going to forget the mechanics and waste all my potions. There's no way that even hit me. This is like fighting Abigail in Street Fighter V. It's like, why is this dude in this game? Oh, thanks. Medjed with the party of ten. Hello, everybody. You're all here to watch me die. Yeah, first playthrough, it was going just fine, and then the last several hours have been no progress. No potion drops either, which is really killing me. There we go. Nine is, that's starting to be a respectable number. Let's get a couple more. There we go. They're all dropping at once. Look at that. That's the most potions I've ever had on this run. 
Give me another one. No. It's worth a try. Where did he bash my skull in? Just gonna run past, don't mind me. Just needed to hear me complain, that's right. I gotta complain louder. frame rate. Alright, calm down. Every now and then the enemy just attacks like five times in a row. Doesn't know where I am. It's like if you're in front of him, you just get absolutely wrecked. I can't even backstep. The triple bash. The quad bash? That was OP. Don't you love when a boss gets a new move right before you die? Alright. Get him. Get him. Yes! Come on. Pray slaughtered. Prey slaughtered. Oh, there's still a bunch of enemies over there waiting to kill me. I better run. Prey slaughtered. It's lit. Yeah, we better return. How many attempts did Cleric take? Like 30. I want you to talk to me. Level me up. Ah. Welcome home, good hunter. I must have drifted off. What is it you How could you drift off? I was just performing amazingly. Like, how could you sleep through that? That was the best gameplay you'll see on this stream today. Unreal. Very well. Let the echoes become your strength. Let me... All right, what are we getting for points here? Cheesy HP route.
I feel like a little HP wouldn't hurt anybody. I still got 1,200. Buy some potions. Oh, what does that badge do that I got? Is it souls? Badge of the Swordsman Hunters under Church's Blessing. Right. Maybe it goes on one of the gravestones. Holy Chalice is required to conduct a ritual. Well, we're not conducting any rituals today. What's this? No place to awaken. Dang, that's a lot of places. Alright, well... No clue what that item's used for, but we can keep going now. Yeah, I've played Souls 1, 2, and 3. First try pie. Central Yarnum. Let's see, is there any other good stuff here? Let's keep going. Or let's not. Mm. Surely there's a button or switch. Hey, hey, thanks, Rename. Glad to see you again. I guess we're not going that way right now. That bridge is not meant to be. What if we need Brick Boy to break open the gate? Come on, Brick Boy. Just you and me now. Don't back off. We're all friends here. All right, you know what? Screw you guys. They don't want to come over here. I can't believe it. That is just so dumb. I can't ever tell if he's gonna attack me once or ten times. Just wasted all my money. Let's 
that, that attack right there. That one. And he did it again. So dumb. <laughs> There's nothing there. Just Brick Boy. The most OP character. Actually tougher than the boss. Also, like, holy brightness in the background, Batman. I'm going to go close that window. I'll be right back. I'm kind of surprised it's a dead end. wonder if it will open up. It must open up later. But it was still important to beat something. Felt like I actually accomplished something for once in this game. All right, well, we have options. I just never found another Hunter's Dream thing. I think we're going to choose to run around this guy. Oh, he's got my souls, though. I have to kill him, don't I? Let's get my souls back. by that one. I don't understand this bullet mechanic at all. Ooh. Ooh. Get owned. Get owned. As far as I can tell, it's like whenever their stomach is exposed... Then you can do the thing. And it works 50% of the time. I am taking my souls. I'm leveling up. <laughs> That's the bullet mechanic. Sometimes it works. Very well, let me. Oh, I need two thousand. Wait a minute. I think I still have one more of those instant spend ones. Nope. I lied. Alright, what are we selling? Was it 2150? Or is this enough? Welcome, what is... Very well, let me step. Oh, this is just barely enough. Nice. More HP, or... More stamina is always good. One more attack point. I haven't found a use for Arcane yet.
Let's do this while it's early game. Okay, is there a reason for me to go to here? I think there were a lot of things actually said, uh, sort of sp spreading out from Central, so maybe I should start there. They did find a couple other zones the other night. Oh, this isn't the one I thought it was. What did I click? I meant to go to... This is kind of weird. You can't fast travel from these. So you, you have to like wait for a loading screen to go to Hunter's Dream so that you can go to a loading screen to go to the place you want to go. Seems a little... strange. That's the one I wanted. Pray slaughtered. I think that's a better phrase than victory. Top hat. Hat worn by hunters who admire formality. I wonder if anybody's ever done an Abe Lincoln vampire hunter character in Bloodborne. I'm not sure if I'm proud to say I've seen that film, but I've seen that film. It was a very film. The odds are high. It, it was originally a book, I think, that got turned into a movie, but I've seen the movie. And it's quite something. Put it that way. I don't like that this mask covers up my character's face because I liked his... He sort of got like this Auron Final Fantasy X thing going on. Just the wrong color. Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. I remember that whole uh, meme phase. Wasn't there like Sense and Sensibility and something else too? I don't think I ever finished exploring this place. I just got up the ladder. Never went further. We have to go deeper. Oh. Giant Hippopotamus of Death. Waiting for it to charge me and kill me. Right. Okay. You just attacked through a wall, but you know. I don't know, man. Now I'm basically dead. Yeah, Cleric was the first boss I beat. Alright, well... Now what? Now we wait for the flaming ball of doom to kill these things. They never used the flaming ball of doom. Oh, they used it, but it didn't kill everybody. <laughs> Frick. It's always the pitchfork dude that gets me. I'm having a real struggle with the camera in this game so far. Can't really see what I'm doing.
Oh, I could go that way too. I think I'm gonna keep going this way. Seemed like a nice direction. Camera is the real boss. I thought that guy was gonna come down here and brick me in the face while I was waiting for the elevating. So, I wonder if there's some way to, like, lure out Hippo Boy and then have him get bowled over by the giant fireball. The F-ball. Seems like he doesn't really... Or he wasn't chasing anyway. I'm gonna go fight him. Yeah. Easy. Saw Hunter badge. Badge of a workshop sanctioned hunter. Badge of the swordsman hunters under church's blessing. The messengers in the bath who understand its profundity. Oh, so you're supposed to turn in these badges somewhere. Okay, so maybe that's in Hunter Stream. What's going to kill me here? that thing. That was connected to this. Down he goes. Okay. So this whole section's sort of connected. Then this leads to that zone that killed me the last time, so... Hold on. I think we'll go there next if this is a dead end. If it's not... Then we'll keep going this way. Well, we won't be going that way. Alright, well, let's go this way. You know, running up a ladder takes no stamina at all. Okay, this thing's destroy me. Whoops. Gotta use the bullets. Old Hunter's Mark. Awaken anew without losing blood echoes. Bank those souls. That's my favorite item right now. Want more of those? Where's the duplicate trick? 99 of the item that lets me keep my souls. 
This looks mildly terrifying. Oh, cutscene, boys. This is going to be a boss. Oh, it's uh, Cervantes from Soul Calibur. <laughs> Oh my god, it's the cover of Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. Already another boss fight. Let's go. Oh. Okay. Oh. Alright, let's duel. You got a gun? I got a gun. Oh. Stop attacking me with the the gun. <laughs> he just keeps parrying me with the gun. Oh, good repel. Oh yeah. What's that smell? The sweet blood. Oh, it seems to me. Okay, that's kind of creepy. And also I'm dead. You died. Kind of cool that I found another boss already. That means that I was doing a good job of exploring, like, even without beating the cleric. He's way far away from here, though. Hmm. One thing that I'm curious to see, and I don't want the answer to this, but I know in Souls games, there's a lot of times there's, like, an enemy that isn't a boss, but if you kill it, it won't respawn. And so I'm curious to see if that plays into this at all. Because I think I know a way back to this boss. And I'm curious to see, well, other than the brick boy that's going to kill me now. I'm curious to see if... Just sit still and he won't notice you. I want to see if, like, the giant hippo thing I killed is going to be alive still or not. Oh, I need to go back to Hunter's Dream at some point, too, because I have all these other badges. Let's see. We have a couple options here. I think we should check and see if Big Hippo is dead. It is very alive. Body slam me. Four blood vials, though. Okay, this is the blood vial farm. Oh, is it a pig? I look kind of like a hippo to me because it was so large. I guess it's a pig. What is it with From Software and, like, mutant animals? They like the giant rats, too. Favorite From Software game. A lot of people have said that, actually. I can see why. It's pretty cool. Just 
just gonna run past all this stuff. Ah! push the trigger. My guy is like 20 seconds behind when I'm pushing buttons. A little bit disappointed in his performance so far. Also, the lock-on disappears randomly. I was definitely locked on to that fool. this okay he's crazy ow ow that was a lot of damage had a bad third phase. <laughs> okay, let's go here for a second. I want to find out what if I can use these badges for anything. I said something would recognize them. It's this. No. Oh, I need three more of those. Oh, the badges go on the on the weapons. Maybe. Wait. How do I do that? I just saw slots for things on these things. Am I crazy or are those slots? Those look like slots. Lever plus one. Hmm. Okay. Keep looking. Figure this out. A lot of insight. Nothing to buy. There are no messengers. 
Well, it has to be something here. The workshop is gone, and no group recognizes this badge except the messengers in the bath who understand its profundity. Who are messengers in the bath? Is that this guy? Am I supposed to sell him? They're not for sale. Oh, whoa, suddenly we got new things here. Key to the gate. Oh, of course, there's always a key that costs a million. The Hollow Knight classic. Under Chief Emblem, 10,000. Key to the gate to the Grand Cathedral's Round Plaza. So I don't think we want that just yet. Throwing knives. Use weapons in both hands while illuminating the dark. Unlimited use. That sounds pretty good. Oh, there's other weapons now. The Kirk Hammer. Repeating pistol. <laughs> okay, well, it said that they would recognize the badge, but they. Oh, does that mean that. Wait. Does that mean that getting badges equals. More items for sale? Maybe that's what it means. I think that's what it means. I'm going to believe that's what it is because I don't have anything else to believe at this point. Believe. <laughs> What's up, Ethan? How are you? Believe in yourself. Yeah, I need to believe because this game is very difficult. We got the first boss down, though, so that's chip off my shoulder. I gotta remember which way to go here. I think it's this way. One of these times I'm going to come down here and get chased by the enemy while I'm waiting for the elevator. Also, I need to pay attention to the clock because I'm going out for birthday canes tonight. I got to make sure I don't forget that. Come back and we'll do an evening stream later. Oh, can I? I don't want to try this because it'll screw up. I was going to say maybe I could step on the button and run out of the elevator, but we'll just do this. Let's go this way. Fight the giant hippo pig thing again.
gives a random amount of blood vials. Would be nice to beat a second boss this afternoon. That would be cool. I think I did pretty well in this fight, too. I've only fought him, what, twice now? I think I'm starting to understand. Gotta find my corpse so I can get all my souls back, too. Oh, it's right there. That was a mistake. Oh, this first phase. He's just so aggressive. I think I'm gonna die to his gun. Thank you for the happy birthday, yes. Much appreciated. Yeah, I didn't plan anything special this year. Usually, I like to, I don't know, I'm a firm believer in, like, you do stuff on your birthday, right? It's your birthday. Some people just sort of look it over, like, oh, whatever, it's just another day. But, like, a couple of years ago, I went skydiving on my birthday. And I usually try to make a, you know, somewhat of a big deal. But this year, my idea of a big deal was, I just don't want to work. So I took Thursday and Friday off and I'm gonna go get some canes later tonight and play some Bloodborne all weekend. Nothing too special. Uh, this guy's puppy guarding now. Excellent. Just what I wanted to see. Oh, that's how you one-hit KO that thing. Okay. Okay, we should do that more often. Didn't work. Okay, so you have to counter with the bullets and then you have to instantly attack and it does big damage. I'm learning. It's so counterintuitive to me because I would think the gun would be used at a range, but it's up close. What is this, Canes of which I speak? So there's this place called Raising Canes Chicken Fingers. I don't know if you've heard of it. Um, but they serve the best chicken fingers. They, that's literally all they serve. They serve chicken fingers. They serve this bread that is ex insanely addictive. You can buy like extra pieces of bread with your order because it's this kind of garlic bread. And they have a special Canes sauce. But it was uh, one of my favorite places on campus when I was a student. We used to go every Thursday night. There was a group of us that went. And it was sort of our hangout. You know, like, if we were the cast of Friends, like, that was our central perk. Like, every Thursday we're there. Hanging out, eating some chicken fingers. It's really popular around here. I think they have it on the East Coast, too. I don't like that that thing can stand up on its hind legs. Alright, we survived. But yeah, Keynes is... Uh just one of my favorite fast food places so the atmosphere too is really good on the the one on campus anyway i don't think there will be a lot of people there right now because i don't think school is starting until next week but during the school year it's usually pretty packed especially on game nights they usually will have like the gopher football game going or something OK, 
Okay. I'm going to try not to die immediately this time. I don't even know where my corpse is. I don't think I'm going to have time to find it either. Oh, there it is. Oh, got him right away. Overly grotesque for no reason. I love it. That did not work. That did not work. Back up. Abandoned ship. Oh, I tried to counter and it didn't work. This fight started out so well. See, the key is to use the... You have to somehow, like, let him get close enough to you so that you can gun him. But not too close that he kills you. It feels very difficult. I feel like every time I try to wait, I get stabbed. Or gunned. See there, I gunned him and it, he still got his attack off. So I, I don't completely get it yet. Yeah, you keep running into that graveyard there. There we go. Oh, he recovered from that so fast. Oh, lost the lock on. Camera. Camera. Oh. No, use the gun. Use the gun. Have you ever pulled a trigger on a gun multiple times and nothing happened? Same. Yeah, Minnesota. You got it. Well, there goes my potions. At least we know how to one-hit kill these guys over here. So now, actually, I have a different idea for how I'm going to move there. Since the old guy over here gives me four bullets. There we go. Why don't you visceral attack? Why don't you read my stream title? didn't work. Ow. This game looks hard. It's funny because I've never heard anyone say that about any of the games in the Souls series. Yeah, those are the rest of those are easy. It's just a walk in the park. The timing for that is so short. What the? There we go. Shining coins. Assorted shining coins which might guide one's way. There are very few uses for spirit change, but these will serve as guides through the darkness. Or one could save them until morning. Okay, so they just light up the path, maybe. It's kind of interesting.
Oh god. Oh, there we go. Okay. I'm getting used to fighting that thing. I actually, Ethan, I don't know if you heard me say this last night because I was, I think for a while I was disconnected from Twitch chat, but we were talking about the Souls games and if you're interested in playing them, I mean, I know it's kind of common sense, but I would start with Souls 1 just because I feel like Dark Souls 1 does such a good job of teaching you how to play it. And I know it has like a notoriety as a super difficult game, but I feel like it's more like... I don't know. Like, I don't want to say it's a difficult game. I just think it has mechanics, and you have to learn the mechanics. That's kind of why I'm struggling with this game, too, is that there are slightly different mechanics from Dark Souls. But I think Souls 1 does such a good job of... It, it's very open, allows you to explore the directions you want to go. And it just teaches you really well. Plus, if you like Souls 1, I mean, well, you know, you, you play that, you get a really good Souls experience, and you have the opportunity then to say, like, well, I really enjoyed this series. I want to try other things in the series. I just feel like it's sort of a litmus test for the series. In the same way that I feel like Ace Attorney 1 does a very good job of that, where by the end of Ace Attorney 1, you'll know if you want to play the whole series or if you've had your fill. That was weird. I don't feel like I'm doing very well against this guy now. Hey, he just like completely ignored my gun attack. I think you have to telegraph the gun. And there, I, sometimes I pull the trigger and he doesn't use the gun at all. I don't get it. Yeah, the music in this game is really good. I think the opening for Bloodborne so far has been much more difficult than the opening of most of the Souls games. I think Souls 1 has notoriety for its difficulty. Like, it's, it's famous for that just because A, it was the game that was, you know, decided it was going to require some thought from the player, right? It's just place and time. But B, uh, I think there are just specific bosses in that game that are kind of famous for their difficulty. And other than that, I feel like the majority of them are very playable. And I would say almost anybody who wants to beat a Souls game can. You just have to be willing to be patient. And actually, even if you aren't willing to be patient, you know, depending on uh, how hardcore you are or whatever, you can always just recruit an ally to help with the fight too, if you're just more interested in making progress. I just, I've kind of taken it on myself to not use the co-op stuff, because I think I like the challenge. Um, but that option is there. This is awkward, he got stuck in the hallway. Okay, I haven't seen that before. He's angry.
yeah, this game's pace just seems quicker. Souls is, a, I would say, a more defensive game. This feels like you're supposed to be more aggressive, and that's part of the reason I'm struggling with it, because I'm not very aggressive. Gotta get angry. I have no potions. I do think the, the farming potions uh, thing is somewhat annoying. On the plus side, if I ever do beat this guy, I've got like 7,000 souls, so... Just have to beat him first. See, I don't know how to punish that from the distance. I don't even think I should use potions this time, because I'll be at zero. Gun animation is so slow. down. Yeah, I don't know. I... I'm not sure yet. It definitely feels annoying to grind the potions. Now I'm low on bullets, too. Saw nothing. You saw something. We're all just friends here. I like that they just don't want to go into this room to attack me. Elevator's broken. Oh, we could go this way instead of fighting the big pig. And think about that. Complete days grinding for XP and blood vials. Yeah, I'm hoping I don't have to do that, but knowing me, I probably will. Oh, 
Oh, see, I tried to counter. You get like a one frame window to counter with this thing. And you also have to be exactly six inches away from the enemy. <laughs> measuring tape. See, I like enemies like that that just stand there and die. Those are the ones that make the game feel beatable. He just lunges right at you, too. Fight out in the open. Ready for a real match. Oh, every time I pull out the gun, I just get punished. Never use the gun. can't he doesn't pull the trigger nothing. That was a good try. I still don't understand why sometimes you, like, you stagger them with the gun, and then you go up there to try to do the big attack, and it doesn't do anything. It's very inconsistent. But we're learning. So I have no potions now. We're back to the nothing is dropping potions part of the game.
He didn't see me. What if they just give up? He can see me. I'm right here. Maybe he's afraid he won't fit through the doorway. Most players quit on the first boss. Yeah. I mean, I think that's true of a lot of games, actually. Not just Souls games. I know a lot of people who, like, I used to do this too. Like, buy a new video game because it's shiny and new, and then you open it up and you play it one night and never play it again. It's definitely a common thing. They never lit the fire on the thing. All right, we can't rely on the fireball anymore. Don't tell Ribkilla. I don't know how I dodged that. That that was some sidestepping right there. <laughs> I saw the death ball coming at me. <laughs> just just casually like, excuse me, Mr. Fireball. Or just like. That was beautiful Joe right there. Indiana Jones. Alright, I'm going to pretend like I planned that. Also, I don't have any bullets, so this is not going to work. We're going to have to just, like, farm stuff for a while again. My favorite. My favorite. Why didn't that visceral? I still don't understand this mechanic. like he's too far away to do it I guess it's uh, uh, maybe I should try doing like big weapon Let's see if it works and I have more range at least three potions is not gonna cut it I could teleport back and buy some potions me I'm just gonna pick up my souls okay thanks boss all right we gotta get to do some science here I didn't that nope okay science failed death of science all right just kill me What, do the sidestep on the fireball? I think I did, but it, it wasn't as cool as that one was. That was pretty deft. That's your word of the day. Pretty deft of me. It's very dexterous. So, I think this game has pacing issues. It, it feels like it's faster than Souls, but then you spend all the time grinding to get your powder and your potions. Oh, bullets, not gunpowder. Bullets. And it just kills all the momentum. I've spent most of the last stream and a half just looking for potions so I can go try the boss. I got a hot idea. Where is this item? Awaken anew without losing blood echoes. 
Okay, so how do we put that on the hot menu? Put that on the hot menu. Alright, so that's, that's, that's the homeward bone, right? So, we're gonna get ready to homeward bone. On the boss. Take our money and run. That's the real plan. see his face. Oh, should I throw the oil on these guys so that they take extra damage from the fireball? Oh yes, ragdoll. Yes. Carry him with me. Up the stairs. Up, come on. Up the stairs. Up the stairs, yes! Best part of this game is the physics. Okay, so here's the plan. We're gonna go in here. I'm gonna try to make sure that this item works after I pick up my corpse, which is right there. Pick it up and run! Oh, it didn't work! You suck! I wish to reawaken. Oh! There's a casting time. Too proud to show your true face. <laughs> womp womp. <laughs> A sporting hunt it was. I beat Cleric Beast, yes. Believe it or not. I know it's hard to believe. We did eventually beat the Cleric Beast. Having a lot of trouble with Father, though. Mostly because I don't have potions or bullets. You know, Bayonetta doesn't have this problem. Just saying. We've had a couple good attempts on Father. We got him down to like 10%. Just ran out of potions. Oh, he got a stab in on me that time. I think I'm gonna spend my money on maxing out my potions. And then level up a couple times if we actually manage to make it out of this fight. This is my new strategy. S stop trying to win the fight. Oh, here we go.
Do I have to like hold? Maybe I have to hold R1. I don't know why that doesn't work. Bayo had limited potions. Bad comparison then. That's actually another game I've been meaning to play for forever and I haven't. I, I've owned Bayonetta 1 and 2 for probably like three years now. Just never got around to playing either one of them. Let's... Whoa. Sometimes they're a little slow on lighting the, the fireball there. Did we get them all. Never gets old though, by the way. I'm enjoying watching them die to the fireball repeatedly. So my problem with one and two at the moment is that I own them on Wii U, which don't get me wrong, I'm a big Wii U defender. I think Wii U is underrated by just about everybody um but now that it's ported switch i'm like tempted to just play it on switch <laughs> honestly people who like passed over the wii u don't like video games that's my opinion wii u had easily like 15 to 20 games that were must own problem is that now that they're all on switch which actually like this is a good thing if you didn't own a wii u like you get to play most of them on switch uh tokyo mirage being the only one that you can't someday tokyo mirage will be uh ported to switch in the greatest rpg move of all time If you guys like Persona and you don't own Tokyo Mirage, it's like $20 on clearance everywhere because nobody wants to buy Wii U games anymore. And it's basically Persona 4.5. Except that there are Fire Emblem characters in it, so it's even cooler. Oh, you haven't played it yet? I definitely recommend it. And actually, one of my favorite parts about Tokyo Mirage is that hard mode is well balanced. Like, you don't have to grind to beat hard mode. But it gives you that challenge. Um, I don't know. I just thought it was like the perfect difficulty. All right. Are we really trying this again? I, I don't know if I should just keep endorsing the runaway strategy, but... Alright. Go all the way up here. This is the safe spot. He'll never find me up here. He found me up here. He's, he's a deft one. Oh! Ooh! New item. Alright. That was worth. Didn't know that was there. Try it again. We lost him forever. We did it. Yes. Loot and scoot. Surgical gloves. Look at that. I got 9,000 souls. That's just what we needed. That's the... The Kickstarter project right there. Welcome, what is it? Farewell, 
may you? Um, I would say this. If I have a question about controls, I will ask. Put it that way. Welcome. What is? Very well. Let me. Okay. What am I gonna do with all these souls? I have so many. We're gonna buy potions. That's happening. Maybe more. Well, we're getting defense no matter what, right? Defense wins championships. So. Let's see. We could go four points of strength. Get extra stamina. All right. Yeah, we'll see you later, Ethan. Thanks for stopping by. I will be playing this pretty much all weekend. So if you guys ever want to just check in and see how things are going, you're more than welcome to do that. Oh, somebody said Wonderful 101 on Switch. That would be good, too, because I never got to play that game, actually. That was supposedly a very good game, though. I remember there was a period where I was trying to buy that game, and none of the stores around here had it, and then I was going to order it online, and I couldn't find it anywhere online. And then all of a sudden, I think it was, like, re stock again several months later, but I already had a backlog, so... A new wonderful 101? I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me. Um, yeah, I don't know. Seems like the perfect kind of game to port to Switch, though, because I imagine the majority of the games that are getting ported to Switch are just for uh, availability. Like, people who didn't own a Wii U are now buying these same games, or these games that are slightly modified. So it would make sense. I think we're just going to go HP here. I don't really know what else to do. Take the HP. Seems like a good newbie thing to do. Farewell, good hunter. Farewell. And now we got to figure out what to do with the money. Can I level up my weapon to plus two? Oh, I only have two. I thought I had five shards. Five, three. I guess I had fewer shards than I thought. The workshop tool is missing. What other things can we do in the workshop? Nothing. Buy some throwing knives. I love that I can buy these. So for 400 souls, I can awaken anew without losing... So I can, like, bank my souls. My favorite thing. So we're always going to make sure I have at least one of those. Medicinal pellets that counteract poison. Okay, well, I don't have poison at the moment. I don't need that. I can buy some more Molotovs. Actually, we haven't tried the Molotov and oil strategy on this boss. That could be kind of fun. Always curious to see how much damage that does. Could try getting a different weapon here. Threaded cane. Doesn't seem like a very... What am I? I'm more of a muscle weapon class. So Hunter X. Which one of these do I own? These both use one bullet. This uses two. Repeating pistol. Alright, I think I'm just going to buy more uh or what? How many of these do I have? Zero? There. Spent it all. 
14 and 6. I feel better about those numbers. It's almost 4 o'clock. Let's see if we can't beat this boss here. I've been trying to hold off on buying Wii, Wii U to Switch ports as much as possible just because I don't like to buy the same game multiple times if I don't have to. But Mario Kart 8 I did purchase and I'm still holding out that at some point in the future they will segment 200cc into its own playlist. Either that or the people that play it Okay, this is a wake-up call. This is me calling you out, and I hope this makes it to Twitter or something so that you all hear this. If you own Mario Kart 8 and you jump into the online playlist because you care about your rank points, you're doing it wrong. You got to do a custom playlist, 200cc. That's the real way to play. Screw the rank points. No one cares. 200cc. That's the revival of Mario Kart right there. That's how you do it. I don't have a weapon. Just chop, Boy! chop time. Boy! Where did my weapon go? Two hundred CC lobbies. See, I'm just hoping that they'll eventually segment it so that you can play two hundred CC online. Because it sounded like they said that there were more updates coming for Mario Kart. So. Whether that means new tracks or game balances or whatever, I just hope. Because the easiest solution would be if they add 200cc, then everyone will just play that playlist and the game will be revived. But the whole like 150-200 split is kind of annoying. But other than Mario Kart, I haven't felt a need to buy a ported game from Switch at this point. At least that I can think of. What else was ported? Um, totally blanking. I survived. DK? What are we, uh... Now, now we're getting into, like, everyone is here territory. Actually, the, the biggest Switch news that was disappointing of the day was finding out that Super Mario Party will not allow Pro Controllers. Because I bought four Pro Controllers a while ago, <laughs> thinking that we were finally going to have four player games to use Pro Controllers. It's Joy-Con only, and I don't plan to buy four Joy-Cons. <laughs> That was a tough one to read this morning. Yeah, apparently it's going to be kind of like the Wii Mario parties where they emphasize using the motion controls. So I guess even though the Pro Controller has motion controls, they were like... I don't know if it's because the Joy-Cons are going to be used to point at the screen or what, but... Yeah, that super sucks. Honestly, like, now I'm thinking about it, because I pre-ordered it, and now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, uh, this is starting to sound a little sketchy. First of all, it doesn't have the full multiplayer online. Oh. 
father, please. I don't feel like I'm learning anything. Does it not have my gun equipped? Where did my gun go? Wow, it buffered my attack from like three years ago there. What? Stop being amazing. This dude, stamina bar is like infinite. He doesn't give up. Ah, the bullets! <laughs> Yo, five hits. Let's go. I thought about that. And then I still went for it. And I still went for that, too. And that, too. To me... When I see a wind-up animation, that tells me that the boss should have some recovery time, but these bosses don't care. They're just, like, unaffected by normal physics and the ability to, uh, you know, breathe via a cardiovascular system. <laughs> just doing whatever they want, man. If it's Joy-Con only, I'm not buying. They're too small for my hands. Uh, that's part of it for me. Like, I just, I don't like the feel of the Joy-Con individually. Um, but I also am trying to visualize, like, what are these minigames going to look like that can utilize only a Joy-Con? Because I've tried playing, like, Puyo Puyo Tetris with a Joy-Con before, and that is not playable. You, you can't reliably place pieces with a Joy-Con. So, I feel like by limiting it to the Joy-Con, it's limiting the styles of mini games that can be played too. But I also haven't been paying attention to the footage, so I have no idea. What was this other item that I picked up in that room? Used to gain a droplet blood gem. I don't know what that means, but let's read more. Used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. Okay. That's cool. Now I need bullets. I'm getting all the potion drops. I just don't have any bullets. The, the, the grinding in this game for items never ends. I would really like for this Mario Party to be good. I'm just, the more I'm hearing about it now, the less confident I am. At first when they showed it at E3, I was like, oh man, here we go, back to the roots, you know? I think Nintendo is easily the biggest innovator in the console industry, which is both a good thing and a bad thing at times. 
Because they're sometimes too afraid to just use basic stuff, like a controller. Right? It seems like a lot of times things are gimmicky. Just for the sake of being gimmicky. There we go. If it drops. Yeah, playing in a room with friends would still be good. I think so. We'll see. I mean, part of it for me though is like, as a as an owner of a Switch, I want to make sure that everybody in the room gets to use the same controller, right? Like, you don't want to be the person in the room if I have people over that's stuck with the Joy-Con, right? And so I go out of my way. I'm like, I'm going to get these Pro Controllers. So I get these Pro Controllers. And then they just can't be used. Because reasons? I don't know. It's just weird. I'm not going to buy another pair of Joy-Cons. I don't have to anyway. I'm just going to run right by this fool. Yeah. I don't know. I'm still optimistic. I want Mario Party to be good. Dude, we're going to just farm this fight for another 10,000 souls. For decent trades, and then it all fell apart when I couldn't get away. I was gonna connect too. Big attack. Big attack. deadly. Oh, I couldn't even heal. I can't heal. Run away. Oh, God. So that's how it's going to be. Come on. Let's go. Two down this afternoon. That's what I'm talking about. 
GG. All I had to do was slow down and stop trying to do the... It, I feel like when I try to do the ultimate damage attack, it doesn't work. So if we take that out of the game, just focus on little, little stabs, you know? I'm more of a, I'm more of a, like a... Like a... Uh, little Mac. You know? One punch at a time. Alright, what else is it down here? I didn't even bother to check. Is there other stuff here? It's kind of a big room. That was a really good phase three. I felt like that fight went well because I just stopped trying to do big damage all at once. You know, I got my hits in, but I also got out of there when I had the chance to... It's like, let him attack first, and then get in there for the damage. Alright, I don't see anything else. But I might go back to Hunter's Dream anyway, because I got the souls. Let's see. Open gate with Odin Tomb Key. I guess that's where we're going next. Got the key to the city. Is there anything else up here? So we jumped down and got the one item. That's it. Oop. Okay. Yeah, let's go back. So I kind of want to keep track here because I did this with my Souls playthroughs, but generally speaking, I want to try and fight every boss in the game if I can. So I'm going to take notes here. I can find an empty page in this notebook. There we go. Where is... I don't have my pen. All right, I'll write it down later. I'm going to keep track of the bosses as I kill them. So, am I supposed to use this item? Used to gain a droplet blood gem. Does it have any use by itself? Let's see. Used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon. With the proper workshop tool, various weapons can be fortified. I don't know. Yes. Red blood gem. Physical attack up 2.7%. Boosts rally potential. Don't know what that means. So do I just use this? More bloodstones. Oh man, this is starting to get uh, down in durability. Anything else for sale over here? Now that I've killed some bosses. Ooh, yes you do. Gascon. Like Gaston, but with a C. Gas Gascon. Okay, so the problem I have with these screens is it doesn't tell me plus minus.
So I have no idea how to read the screen. These cost insight, so I have insight to spend. I could buy them all. Are they better or worse than what I have? They seem worse. 50, 60, 60. See, it sucks that there's no comparison tool. Yeah, see, these are all like 40 and 50. How are these any different? 110. Yeah, again, I don't have anything to write with. All right, we're writing this in chat. Enjoy. I'm polluting the chat for a second. This is definitely how you were supposed to play this. Okay. Oh wait, that's the, never mind. It's the one I don't have equipped. So how do these compare? These are like strictly worse. These are, oh, these are like up and down. Like they're somewhat better and somewhat worse. Forty, sixty, sixty, fifty, sixty, sixty, forty. That seems slightly better. 50, 60, 60, 50, 60, 60, 50. Oh, but the key is that I'm arcane. So I want the arcane number to be high. So this seems good. That one seems good. Yeah, I think I want these three. I don't care for this one. It's just as lower numbers. My chat experience. Let's see. I don't understand how... Okay, you got your physical defense going down, but then it goes up versus blunt and versus thrust. So, in a way, it goes up. Beast hood goes down. My beast hood goes down. Unbelievable. Well, these don't raise my, like, arcane attack. My defense. Oh well. Whatever. Wasn't going to spend it on anything anyway. Got a new look. Welcome home. What is very well Level me up before I forget. that does yet. Oh, I get four points of defense per level now. That's cool. What is discovery? Governs chance of enemies dropping items when defeated. The higher this is, the more you will find. We gotta max that stat. The higher this attribute, the closer you are to beasthood when temporary transformed. Oh, 
Well, how did we raise that? Oh, arcane races your discovery? Oh, baby. I'd have to do that at some point. Not now, though. We want stamina. Farewell, good hunter. Good hunter. What else do you have for me now that I beat a boss? $10,000 key. I want more of these. Yeah, put them in the storage. It compares items in equip menus, but not in purchase menus. Yeah, that's shaking my head. What were they thinking? What were they thinking? All right, let's move on. New zone, new life. Oh, this is going to be like the poison zone. I can tell it. There's always a sewer. Oh. There's the Duke's archives. All right. Inspect. Bergenworth spider hides all manner of rituals. Ah, yes, this is the spider zone. It makes my head shudder uncontrollably. Uh, anyone want to bet that we are dealing with a mimic here? Place your bets now. I'm thinking... I don't care, I'm opening the chest. Blood Gem Workshop Tool. That's cool. Enables fortification of weapons with blood gems. Well, I definitely have one of those. Cutscene time. Very cool. There was lamp just like three seconds ago, but I'll take another one. Oh, yes. Pot destruction. How are you, friend? Hmm? Oh, you must be a hunter. Very sorry. The incense must have masked your scent. Good, good. I've been waiting for one of your ilk. These hunts have everyone all locked up inside. Waiting for it to end. It always does. Always has, you know. Since forever. But it won't end nicely. Not this time. Even some folks hiding inside are going bad. The screams of women folk. The stench of blood. The snarls of beasts. None of them's too uncommon now. Yarnum's done for, tell ya. 
But if you spot anyone with their wits about them, tell them about this here herd in chapel. Oh, okay. Be safe here. The incense wards off the beasts. Spread the word. Tell them to come on over. I know who to talk to. If you wouldn't mind. I found a safe place. <laughs> <laughs> Should if you happen upon someone while hunting, if they seem oh, and I do sincerely hope they. So we should quick teleport back and solve that then. Bloodborne. Remember when this screen just used to say Bloodborne? Before, I think it was before they added this stuff in. When you died, it used to just say Bloodborne, and it was like forty-five seconds. Is it Central Yarnum where this lady was? I think it was. I wonder if I'm supposed to do it for all the people who are at their door still. I want to go try talking to Crazy Lady in Hunter's Stream. She probably won't talk to me anymore, though. Oh, this is not... Okay, let's do this first. Pretty sure that this crazy lady was over here. I'm getting so used to killing these same four enemies. I think she was past the dogs here. Oh, what? He dodged me. Dead man over here, though. Dang. I was probably supposed to save this guy. Well. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Tell of Odin Chapel. What the heck? I just told you where a safe spot was. Alright then. You're welcome. this no oh he dropped a bloodstone shard whoa it's a good drop
So I've been over this way before. But I haven't actually jumped down into the rat sewer thing down here yet. Kind of tempted to jump down here and see what we get. Going for it. With the rabid rats everywhere. Well, they die easily too. Well, except when they don't die easily. They're really good at making creepy rats. There's no way to get over to the other side. The only way is down into the poison. Probably gonna get poisoned, aren't I? Maybe not. I don't think I've been over here. Unless this connects to where I was. Oh yeah. This just goes back up to here. And then I can go down here. Destruction. Is there really nothing in these rooms? That's kind of disappointing. Just destructibles. Let's go to the, whatever it's called, the tomb. Ow, let's die instead. Jeez, let's actually die. Murdered. You died. Yes, I did. Where's this going to put me? Oh, back here, huh? Oh, he's back. Whoa. The moon is close. It will be a long hunt tonight. If the beasts loom large and threaten to crush your spirits, seek a holy chalice, as every hunter before you has. A holy chalice will reveal the tomb of the gods, where hunters partake in communion. Right. Most of the holy chalices lie deep within the tomb of the gods, and the few that 
found their way to the surface were lost again in the hands of men. But if the old hunter tales remain true, one of the holy chalices is worshipped in the Valley Hamlet. The Valley Hamlet. Yet the town is in disarray. It was burned and abandoned for fear of the scourge. Home now only to beasts, the perfect place for a hunter, wouldn't you say? One of the Okay. Blood gem fortification. So it raises my attack plus eight. We fortify it. I don't know what the or symbol means. Oh, I can make my blunderbuss stronger too. about this over here yet? There are no messengers. Oh. Welcome home. What is it you You're in a new spot. Very well. Let me Over time the graves here stand in their memory. It all seems so long ago now. Farewell. May you find your worth. Okay. Four thirty. I'm thinking I'll play for about another, I don't know, half hour or so. And then I'm going to play again later tonight. Cathedral Ward. Oh, the Hunter. Thank you. To that old girl, you told her about this place, right? Well, she don't offer me much in the way of conversation, but still, I'd rather see her alive anyhow. Oh yes, this is how you get emotes. If you find it, send them a lot though. <laughs> you get emotes by sending the old ladies here. Oh, you're the old lady. She actually sits here. Yes. Well, that's a pro this old mess that Yarnum's in. It's all your fault. You put it to the outsiders. Our blood's ruined. Tainted by your ilk. I could kill you right now. Come near me. I know you, Tyler. Oh, I want to take her down so badly. Got all these different spots for people to sit. Gotta find more townspeople. Maybe I should just focus on that right now. I know where there are a lot of townspeople. Yeah. I know. Ooh. Okay. Looking kind of dangerous. This way. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I'm really good at rolling right into his attack. I can't believe I just died to uh, Edward Munch's The Scream.
Look at that. At least it spawned me right there. Just hiding behind this thing. shield wait should I check the stats on that durability 120 oh this is my left hand thing so I can get rid of the uh gun in favor of a shield that's probably going to break real quick but if we're not using the gun anyway there we go Doesn't open. Closed by a device. Hey, thanks, Toasty. Chop the old tree down. No. Not at that level of realism. Alright. So this place looks like it's not happening right now. Let's go this way. These guys they seem beatable. Oh, top hat. Oh, that was weird. I got absorbed into another dimension. Maxing out my blood vials. I should have saved that for later. What is this? A 
The bells are ringing. Ah, the villagers are at it again. Yeah, let's duel. Oh, shoot. He saw me throwing the pebble. That was the play of the game right there. Okay, what's going to attack me when I pick these up? There's always something. No? Free stuff? Free stuff. Too strong now. That looks like a, a way I can go. <laughs> What's in here? Boss room? Seems too convenient. Madman's knowledge. This looks like it could be a boss or something. Like something's going to pop out of the sarcophagus. Or the old man on top will wake up. here. Ooh. We got the rabbit dog. And he's got a friend. Holy frickin' frick. I love when everything gets to attack 70 times in a row. Dogs are jerks. I tried to block and then it just, they got like a million attacks in a row. I was screwed. Let's try that again. At least there are a ton of blood vials here. Dear Lord. I don't think we want to fight him yet. Let's stick to the stuff that's beatable. There's always a dog. I hate that it's so easy to miss when throwing things in this game. Let's go. Yeah, you better be angry. I died? Dang. Big damage.
didn't realize my health was that low. Oh, woof, woof. Thank you for speed gaming. I like this enemy design. The purple lantern is kind of spooky. He's got like the screams face. He's beating you with his cane. Dogs two streamer zero. It's rough life. Streamer also can't seem to throw a fastball. Dad's finished. Man, they just come running around the corner. Relentless. All right, at least I got one of them to go into the fire. Backing off. Oh, that's right. They get angry at the rocks. Control yourself. You're defenseless about your doggos. this. I will pull that lever in just one second. What happened? Ooh, spooky. There's a secret staircase. Okay, that was totally cool. I knew there was something to do with that tomb. That's actually really cool, okay. Where is this going? This is like a new zone too. Everything's a new zone. Are you a friend? You're a beast hunter, aren't you? How'd you figure it out? That's precisely how I started out. Oh, beg pardon. You may call me Alfred. Protégé of Master Ligarius. Hunter of vile bloods. So, what say you? Our prey might differ, but we are hunters, the both of us. Why not cooperate and discuss the things we've learned? I will cooperate. Oh, very good. Very good indeed. Take this to celebrate our acquaintance. Fire paper. Beast hunting is a sacred practice. May the good blood guide your way. There must be oodles for us to share. Go on. Just tell me what piques your interest. Uh-oh. 
Am I just feeding him information? As you know, the Healing Church is the fountainhead of blood healing. While I'm a simple hunter quite unfamiliar with the ins and outs of the institution, but I have heard that the holy medium of blood healing is venerated in the main cathedral, and that counselors of the old church reside in the high stratum of the cathedral ward. If you seek blood healing, and the church is willing, you should pay them a visit. Mm. Bergenworth is an old place of learning, and the tomb of the gods, carved out below Yarnum, should be familiar to every hunter. Well, once a group of young Bergenworth scholars discovered a holy medium deep within the tomb. This led to the founding of the Healing Church and the establishment of blood healing. In this sense, everything sacred in Yarnum can be traced back to Bergenworth. But today, the college lies deep within a tangled wood, abandoned and decrepit. And furthermore, the Healing Church has declared Bergenworth forbidden ground. It's unclear how many of its scholars remain alive, but only they know the password that allows passage through the gate. All right. I bid you farewell. It has been a pleasure. I a sit down and tell him. Your way. Sit down and tell him all my fresh info. May the good blood carry me on my way. All right, well, now that I gave him all the hot info, it's time to go to the new zone. Cursed beasts. Time to play boss fight or new zone. Tempering blood gemstone. Ah, that's looking like new zone. That's looking like mutant zombie. Yeah, you better back off. Him right in the booty. Bloodstone shard. So this is one of those zones where I feel like I have a TV advantage over everybody else because when I look over at the stream, I see it's very dark, but my TV has like a backlight or something, and so this whole zone looks very bright to me. and everybody with my TV. I'm keep going down further there, it looks like. Let's go this way. Break the boxes. They love just putting destructibles in this game, too. We're going to Poison Town. This must be Blight Town. It's lit. The 
seems like a good place to stop for now, too, actually, because it is 5 o'clock. Bloodborne, more like TV born. Welcome, what is it? Very well, let me. 3300 level up? I'm leveling up. Farewell. A holy chalice is said to be enshrined in Old Yarnum, seated in the valley. That must be my major objective. Oh, I can level this up. No, I need one more shard. I have enough shards for this, but I don't really know that I want to upgrade my... gun. But we can fortify this with this. Wait. They both occupy the same slot? are getting more expensive. I should have bought these while I had the chance. I knew it. At least the key is 10,000 still. Okay, I think I'm going to stop for now and we'll continue later tonight in Old Yarnum, which seems like the next major place to be, so... I will catch you guys later. I'm going to go get some canes. And yeah, we'll be back later tonight for a real boss fight. Two bosses down so far. Just two more than I thought I was going to complete this afternoon. So that's good. All right. So we'll catch you guys in probably, let's see, what time is it now? Five o'clock? see. Probably about four hours or so go live again at like 9 o'clock or so. Another evening stream. So we'll see you then. But for now, I am going to take off. See ya.